Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today I'm going to cook for you again. But uh, sadly you won't be able to eat it. But I will and I'll give you a review. So this is gluten-free pizza crust. Just plain cheese. I'll do a thumbnail. You gotta do a stupid thumbnail. Now Molly has said that this is the best frozen pizza she's ever had and she's not even gluten-free. And uh, so this is two packs and it's just four cheese pizza. So I'm going to add to it and uh, I'm gonna give you my own review of it. And for dessert, something else gluten-free. As soon as I saw this, I thought, I gotta, I gotta try this. Nutless clusters. There's no nuts in this. <laughs> Joseph's Original Nutless Clusters. Try saying that five times fast. Joseph, Joseph, I can't even say the first word once. Joseph's Original Nutless Clusters. Joseph's Original Nutless Clusters. Joseph's Original, forget it. Anyway. Uh, ingredients, dates, brown rice crisps, butter, coconut, uh, cane sugar, water, rice flour, vanilla, mixed, tocophorus, to tocophorus, and sea salt, and contains milk. There, there's a little pitcher of milk, and you just... Some jokes don't work. Uh, yeah, gluten-free. And so we'll try those for dessert, if I remember. So I've diced the mushrooms and the red peppers. And I've also got some green olives I'm going to put on my pizza. And maybe a bit, a bit of extra cheese, because I asked Molly, and she did put a little extra cheese, even though that looks, compared to some, that's a, a good amount of cheese, but I will add a bit more to it. So, uh, the company is Sabat... Sabat... All these words I can't pronounce. Sab... Sabato... Sos... Sabat... Sab, 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 this is going to be an hour-long video. Sabatasos. You try saying that five times. Crafted since 1950. That's before I was born. And like I said, there's an extra pizza. So the, uh, what it says here, our gluten-free commitment, we believe everyone deserves a great pizza. That's why our pizza has a thin and flaky crust topped with premium ingredients, and the whole pizza is 100% certified gluten-free. And yeah, vine ripened tomatoes. Vine ripened vine ripened tomatoes, real mozzarella cheese. Hmm. Real cheese. So these are the uh, green olives that I bought. I'm gonna put the whole jar, including the the uh, water, on the pizza. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm putting ham on the pizza, too. And pepperoni. Did I mention pepperoni? So this is the uh, ham I bought. Smoked black forest ham, gluten-free. You always make, have to make sure, because you never know with, with these companies, you know, cross-contaminations and stuff. Before I forget, uh, my sister Sharon actually bought, they, they went to Costco, her and her husband, and they bought me the pizza and uh, some, some ibuprofen, because I'm old, I've got aches and pains. <laughs> and she, that was part of my birthday present, so thank you, Sister Sharon. It was really nice. And then she made me homemade lasagna and uh, Barbecue chicken, too. So there's the pizza. You have to 
take the plastic off. That's one thing I learned the hard way. I was wondering why there was smoke coming out of my oven one day. Oh, that is a thin crust. I like thin crusts. Look at that. Just look at that. That's a nice thin crust. So I'm just I'm just putting a little bit more uh, mo mozzarella cheese on, black diamond. There. Spread it evenly. That is a good sized pizza. There, just a little bit more. And so, I've got some ham. Oh, that's looking delicious. I could eat that right now. But I think it'd be safer if I cooked it first. Yeah, I didn't want to put, I didn't want to overdo it with the, uh, with the ham. And this is the, uh, like I said, the Pillars pepperoni toppings, gluten free. Actually, I'll put on the, uh, the red peppers and the onions first. I know, I know. You're saying that's not the way to make to make the pizza. Well, you make your own then, buddy. Okay. Green olives. Once this is cooked, I'm gonna look at it and say I can't eat that. Don't worry, everything's clean. I even wash my hands. It's just all over the place. What do you expect? I never said I was a professional pizza maker. And I know the mushrooms are a little on the thick side, but I don't care. And now <laughs> you need pepperoni. I don't want to overdo the pepperoni because there's also ham on there and everything else. Don't put this on your pizza. That's another mistake I made once. It does not taste very good. Maybe just a few more. Look at that. That looks edible right now. Kind of looks like a mess, but <laughs> I'm not eating that. All right, I'll put it in the oven now. Bye. Jeez, that's scary. Uh, so that was. 12 minutes. I checked it. It's pretty close to done, but I've, I'm cooking it for two more minutes. And I'm going to have some Jackson Triggs Merlot red wine. And we're going to get drunk. Just joke. In the cheapest plastic wine glasses made. Did I mention my sister paid for the pizza? Cheers. Well, I didn't need that much. Okay, okay. We got a serious problem here, folks. The pizza is pretty much done. It's a touch on the burnt side, actually, the crust. But the, because of all the toppings and all that and the cheese, the cheese isn't completely melted yet. So I put it on broil for 85 minutes to make sure that the cheese is completely edible. It's dripping. That's what she said. I put the timer on for one minute. How's everybody doing out there? I put the timer on. It should 
Should beep any second now. It's a long memo. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to put it on longer. I'm just not happy. I'm going to burn it. Now, most people that do, you know, these food reviews, they would edit stuff like this out because it would bore their viewers. But it's different on my channel because I'm highly entertaining and the timer will be going off in just over a minute and 54 seconds and counting it looks good though it seriously does look good and once I take it out of the oven if I don't burn myself, I'm going to plate it and I'm going to just let it sit and de-air and cool down a little bit. Nothing worse than burning your mouth on hot pizza. I do that every time. weather out. Hey, yeah, I think that's good. I think that looks pretty darn good. I'd, I'd eat that. I don't know if you would. <laughs> but there it is. You know, it's, the edges are a little touch burnt, but I mean that's, it's not burnt. And the cheese, like I said, it's melted. It's melted enough. It could be melted a touch more, but I'm happy with that. Oh, scared me, scared me again. So I'm just, I didn't even put the timer on for the five minutes I have to wait. Uh, please remind me after I have, after I review the pizza, I might forget the nutless clusters. Let's see what they look like. Oh, is that ever small? That's what she said. They come in uh, six packs and there's like one I think there's one, two, I don't know, there's, let's see, maybe I should, I'll have these before the pizza. But seriously, do I have to get a knife? There's no little nick for where you can open these. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> now for the most difficult part of the video, I'm sending a picture of the pizza to Molly. I need a drink. She's looking at it. She sent me back hearts. That's it. Just, just hearts. That's all I got back was hearts. What's that mean? So there's one slice of pizza as it drops on the floor. It's still pretty hot, so I'll be careful. I would, I could eat that whole pizza if I was hungry enough, seriously. But I think uh, norm, like, because that is such a big pizza, even though it's thin, but there's a lot of toppings on it. Uh, I would eat, have two slices, and then I would have dessert. 
So here, here's the taste test. It's still falling off it already. Your pizza's loaded. Oh, so I'm getting, in this bite, I am definitely getting a green olive, a red pepper, and a pepperoni, and there's a possibility of some ham. Mmm. Mmm. Cheese pole. Sorry, I'm I'm allergic to cheese. <laughs> One more bite. Just be patient. I'll give you the review. That is as good a pizza as I've ever had. Seriously. I wasn't expecting it to be. I love it. It has a thin, crispy crust, and it is awesome. That is so good. So, uh, the name of the, I don't have the box here with me, but seriously, if you can find that at Costco, you know, gluten free kind of freaks some people out, and they start running down the, the hall of, or you know, the hallway or whatever. But this gluten-free, it tastes like a regular pizza crust, and, and it's so good. And the toppings, I'm delighted with the toppings. The mushrooms have a subtle flair of taste to them. And the red peppers are divine. And the pepperoni and the ham are very meaty. <laughs> the great reviewer I am. I need more wine, then we'll get to the dessert. That is, yeah, you, and the it's not burnt, as you can see. It's, well, maybe a touch here and there, but I mean, it's, it's edible, okay? Ooh, that's really burnt. I can't eat that. No, it's really good. And I was worried that, that the cheese wasn't melted enough, but it is, it's melted. That is so good. Did, did I mention that? Seriously. If anyone goes out and finds this pizza and decides to buy it and try it themselves, I would love you to come back and leave a comment. <laughs> that pizza was horrible. That was the worst crap I've ever had in my life. No, and leave a comment and hopefully you will be impressed. I would be the spokesperson for this company. You know, to tell you the truth, I wasn't even that hungry, and I wasn't necessarily in the mood to have pizza, but that first bite, you saw it. You saw that first bite. That was a real reaction, just like this one. <sighs> I decided to, before I get through the dessert, to eat this whole slice, and like I said, I'll have... I will have one more slice and then put the other half of the pizza in the fridge and eat the rest of it two hours from now. <laughs> now, that being said, if you like thick crust pizza, this is not for you. But I think, I, th I don't know what the average would be of people that would prefer a, a thin crust compared to a thick crust. But I always prefer the thin crusts. That was cooked to perfection. I'm a great cook. And then she said to me, why don't you watch where you're going? And I said to her, I was watching where I was going and then you showed up. Oh, hi. Okay. Now for the serious part of the video where I Review my dessert, Joseph's Nut Loss Clusters. And I got a knife. They're whole grain, grain, non-GMO. Non I am so happy they are non-GMO, even though I don't know what GMO even means. It's some processing thing or something. I don't know. Oh, it's gluten-free. I didn't know that, and it's nut-free. 
Okay, one, yeah, they're, they're in little pieces. They're all broken up. One, two, three, four, and four and a half. Remind me to edit out that burp or slow it down. Here we go. That's what they look like. Yeah, they taste, uh, they taste datey. If you like dates, that, that's, the dates are <coughs> the main taste. Brown rice crisp butter. It's their sweet coconut. You can definitely taste the coconut too. And they're soft. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, those are those are pretty good. You know, if you're looking for a snack that's halfway healthy and there's no peanuts in it or anything, no nuts. That's it. I definitely, 10 out of 10, no, I'll give the, the nutless clusters a 7 out of 10. They were good, very good. But I don't want to go overboard with the taste or anything, but they were, they were, they were very good. 7 out of 10. That pizza crust, a 10. And the way I made the pizza, a 10 plus plus plus. It was just perfect. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.